Welcome. Here's a homeowner's guide to the F-Series controller. Navigating our controller. Here we've got the power slider with the power in off position currently. We have one for on and the triangle for emergency mode if the display isn't working. We've got the OK button and the return arrow. And this is your jog wheel to scroll through the different menus. Let's move this slider to power the SMO up. Once powered up, you'll be greeted with this screen and on here you can see the indoor climate within the property, the outdoor temperature and your current hot water temperature. You also have the ability to change each one of these four headings that you can see. Indoor climate, hot water, info to interrogate the system and my system to make any changes to the system. Changing the heating if you don't have an indoor temperature sensor using the offset. First, we need to navigate to indoor climate. Press OK and enter the temperature menu. Press OK again. On here, you'll be able to turn the scale up and down, increasing the heating by going up or reducing the heating temperature by going down. This is if you have an offset factor due to not having an indoor temperature sensor. Changing the heating if you have an indoor temperature sensor using the temperature slider. Enter the indoor climate menu, select the temperature and then turn this up or down. This will alter the temperature within the property. This is showing in a temperature factor, which would mean that you had an indoor room sensor within your property. Changing the hot water settings. The first thing we need to do is highlight the hot water menu and go to comfort mode. On here, you'll see three applicable UK menus, economy, normal, and luxury and these can be altered respectively to the increase or decrease of water. Second menu we can go to is the temporary lux menu. And on here we can increase the hot water for a duration of time to its maximum level, i.e. off, one time increase, three hours, six hours, or 12. Changing the scheduling for indoor climate heating. Enter the Indoor Climate menu. And then go to Scheduling. Select Heating. On this page, you can see that we have the option to have three schedules in a week period. And we can also set the schedules individually for each day of the week. First thing we need to do, go to Activated to activate the schedule. And then we can select either one of the days or all of the days. What we'll do is all the days at the moment. So we select the time that we would like this to take effect and this will have an effect within these times. Outside of these times, the heat pump and system will revert back to its default settings. In this example, the schedule is set to change the temperature to 22 degrees Celsius between 12 o'clock and half past one, Monday to Sunday. Outside of these times, the heat pump will revert to its normal operating settings. Changing the scheduling for hot water. First, we go into the hot water menu, down to scheduling. I'm greeted with two schedules that you can see at the top. We then need to select activated. And then we can select each individual day or all the days. We'll select all the days. We select the times we would like this to have an effect. Again, we are only affecting within this time period. Outside of this time period, the system will revert back to its default settings. So we're going to set an off period between the hours of 3.30 and 3.45. Select OK, and that'll affect all the days. Putting the units into holiday mode. Scroll to My System down to Holiday Setting. Select Activated, select the start date and the stop date. The desired room temperature. 
and also your hot water settings throughout that period. Once the holiday period has ended, the heat pump will revert back to its normal settings. Once that's done, that will take effect. Putting the unit into emergency mode. This will use the electric backup that is either within the heat pump itself or on your hot water cylinder. First thing we need to do is go to My System, Op Mode, and then scroll down to add heat only. On this menu, we can also select heated or just hot water. Alternatively, if this control system cannot be accessed, because there's a problem with the controller, we can just slide this across to the triangle to emergency mode and the yellow light will appear. Alarms. In the unfortunate event that we have a fault on the system, you will find that this light will go red. What we need to do is we need to interrogate where to find the fault or the description of the fault. In order to do so, we need to go to info and then alarm log. And on here, you will see the list of the latest alarm logs, which is timestamped. If you select the top one, that will be the latest and it'll give you an information regarding the alarm. 